Now you might be wondering, what is this Valkyrie all about? Well, buckle yourself in and we'll tell you. Heroes, gods, swords, and one magic ring. Richard Wagner was really good at telling a good story. This is his ring cycle. It's a bit like Lord of the Rings with a few less orcs. Siegmund, our handsome hero, played by me, it's a very taxing role, is running through the forest as he's managed to annoy nearly everybody and he needs to find some safe harbour when he finds a charming hut. Sieglinde, yes, that's a remarkably similar name. This is what we call foreshadowing. Sieglinde seems remarkably cool as she walks in to discover Siegmund lying on her kitchen lino. Sieglinde's husband, Hunding, who's a right old piece of work, turns up and he's gearing up for a fight because, who knew, Siegmund is already one of his foes! In a moment of bravery, Sieglinde, Linda to her pals, decides to put something special in her husband's Horlix, which offers her some time so they can find out that an old man stuck a sword in a tree and it's Siegmund's job to try and pull it out. And it turns out they have the same father. Talk about emotional baggage. So Siegmund gets the sword out of the tree through the power of love and incest. Yes, don't worry, it's Wagner. It's messy. Hard cut to the aforementioned old guy, who's actually the god Wotan, who tells his daughter Brunhilde she's the titular Valkyrie, to defend Siegmund when he has his sword fight with Hunding. Wotan gets ratted at by his wife Fricka, changes his mind and tells her to let Hunding win instead. Brunhilde does her own thing and helps Siegmund, but Wotan rocks up and he's like, I knew I couldn't trust you, breaks Siggy's sword and so he corpses it and dies anyway. And Brunhilde and Sieglinde escape together. Act 3, and it's all got a little bit soap opera, Brunhilde and Sieglinde are racing back to beg for help from Wotan's eight other illegitimate daughters, but nobody wants a telling off from a deadbeat dad. To add to this, we find out that Sieglinde is pregnant by her brother, Siegmund. More about this baby of incest later in the saga. After Brunhilde hides the pregnant Sieglinde, Wotan returns and pulls a full-on hissy fit. He removes her immortality, her powers and her horse and sticks her in a ring of fire that only the most inbred of heroes can penetrate. Honestly, I think they all need a bit of family counselling.